Uh, joining me back in the Harvey Norman Lounge is Pet Doctors Vet Rebecca Coot, who has some great tips to look after our pets this silly season. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning. <laughs> so first up, what do I need to do to prepare my pets for the stay in the kennels over the holidays? Sure. So vaccines are important. We need to make sure that they're up to date with the vaccines. And with dogs specifically, they'll need to have their kennel cough vaccine to go stay. So make sure you ask ahead of time. Otherwise, if they're a bit overdue, they might need boosters. And that takes a, a couple of weeks before they get those. So we don't want to have you turned away at the door. Right. And flea and worm is good so they don't bring home extra friends. Get organised. <laughs> no, we don't need those friends. Not no. those kind of friends. Um, <laughs> is getting a pet for Christmas or for a Christmas present a good idea in your opinion? It's really important to make sure the person receiving that pet is happy to have them because pets are quite um, a time um, consuming and lovely thing to have yeah. but they're also expensive and maybe adopting rather than buying a pet from somewhere is a really good way to give a home to one of those many that need homes. SPCA, their pets, um, there's a small adoption fee but that contributes towards all the care that they've had. They're mm. de-sexed, microchipped and lots of their vaccines have been um, started. So you can't ever give a pet like a puppy or a kitten to somebody like they do in the movie Look, yes. I bought you this puppy. Oh, <laughs> you must always check first. That's right. They might be going away over Christmas. There's a lot of logistics they to looking after the pet. And they the might dog. not exactly want the dog for the next 15 years. Exactly. <laughs> That's the thing. It's not for just a week or two. No, it's, for, it's, it's a long life. commitment. Yes. So are there more pets looking for homes around this time of year? There are. So this time of the year is kitten season. So we're seeing lots of those cats that are not desexed having babies. So it's really important to, first of all, desex your cats. It's around five or six months of age. They're going to start getting promiscuous. Yes. And um, if we can stop that exponential population growth, it's going to really help to make sure that our pets are all homed and loved mm. and looked after. Because they're, they're still quite little, aren't they? When they're they... uh, that's it. And a lot of people don't realise their little kitties are um, getting up to naughty things. So they're, being, they're doing big kitty <laughs> big, That's right. So get them in to be desexed. Um, what about Christmas foods that are a no-no for our pets? Chocolate, right. obviously, not Chocolates, good for dogs. Yeah, and sometimes it might be wrapped up and you might not realise and somebody helps you unwrap it from under the tree and eats it without knowing. So um, grapes, avocados and those bones and the fat off the ham and things like that can all lead to um, big issues with big bills. What happens with grapes? Grapes are toxic to kidneys. Really? Which includes raisins as well, because obviously raisins are dried grapes. So just watching out for those things. Right, so fruit and nut chocolate would be the very worst no, thing your pet should be it. eating. Yes. Gosh, I never knew that about grapes. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Of course, mm. quite often you get a fruit board and a cheese board. Right? That's so, right. Yeah. And the Labrador leaps onto the table and helps himself to a few things. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and they have been known to do that. Yeah. I saw our dog actually on the outdoor table the other day. She's only this big. She's uh, not even up to my knees. How she got up there, I have no idea. Motivation. Yeah. yeah motivation, exactly. <laughs> no food up there, unfortunately. Um, is there a veterinary care available even when my clinic is closed, so sure. say for the stat holidays? What happens if your animal gets really sick or does eat the chocolate? Sure, so a lot of the um, clinics might have different hours of the holiday period, so check with your vet clinic, they might have it online, and there are emergency clinics open for when your normal clinic is closed. So if you think, if you suspect your dog's eaten some chocolate, yes. for example, when do you need to be worried? Straight away, just if there's any doubt, best time to get them in is when they're well, and we can get them to vomit it up, and there's also a threshold before it becomes toxic, so if you have an idea of to what type of chocolate dark milk whichever you can call up your veterinary clinic and they you know best if you're not sure to just get in mm. there before they actually start getting into danger zone right because mm. the, I'm sure that dark would be the worst wouldn't dark it? is the worst so cooking chocolate and dark those ones are higher and in, um, in the toxic levels so better for us not yes so good for okay. <laughs> that's all right well thank you so much for coming in today yeah. it's been enlightening and make sure that you have everything prepared for the whole fur family this mm -hmm. holiday and be sure to contact your nearest pet doctor's clinic if you have any questions at all you can also find all the details, including your closest clinic, at nzpetdoctors.co.nz. Now to our pet of the week. Congratulations to Nosy Defa. $50 to spend at petpost.co.nz is on its way to your owner and best friend, Let's Tilianga. And that is the last of our pet of the week for this year. Can you believe that?